Two days after their victory, the Taliban held their first press conference. They promised they would not allow militant groups like al-Qaeda to operate from Afghanistan. Chief government spokesman Zabiullah Mujahid also made new promises to the women of Afghanistan. Why should the United States trust you? Over the last 18 months, I have come to Afghanistan to meet and interview numerous Taliban officials. Many have never spoken before. This is the story of how they won the war. July was the deadliest month for U.S. troops in Afghanistan since the war began in 2001. This is also the story of how America's defeat became inevitable. A story rooted in two decades of mistakes, miscalculations, and hubris. Problems have been festering for 20 years. My concern is that people won't look at what were the real underlying issues that allowed it to collapse so spectacularly. I traveled the length of the country. What I saw was people struggling to shake off decades of conflict. War widows begged in the middle of traffic, often with their children on their laps. This is a Yes, this is our uh, malnutrition department. Childhood malnutrition clinics were packed. This is a 180-bed pediatric ward, but today there were 243 patients. Jobs were scarce. Most people we speak to on the streets don't have jobs. The health care is weak. You have social problems with women not agreeing with Taliban restrictions. How do you answer all this? 